Most people think of Chengdu as a place to relax, sipping tea in gardens, visiting the pandas, eating spicy food. But when you come to Wuho Shrine, you remember that Chengdu was a powerful player in Chinese history, in the capital of a kingdom. This is the holy land of the Three Kingdoms, meaning that it's considered the most influential site from the Three Kingdoms period in Chinese history. To understand the history of Chengdu and the importance of Wuho Shrine, let me tell you a little story that's been told and retold here for centuries. At the beginning of the 3rd century, the Grand Han Dynasty collapsed. For the following half century, China existed as three fragmented kingdoms. Kerry Gracie from the BBC compares this time in history to Homer's era in Europe, calling it a swashbuckling adventure story with lots of blood, excitement, and craftiness on the battlefield. It was under this backdrop that the Shu Kingdom rose out of the West, headquartered in Chengdu. The Wuho Temple is dedicated to the founders of the Shu Kingdom, primarily the Shu's first Prime Minister, Zhuge Liang. But the temple also honors the first Emperor of the Shu, Liu Bei, and his sworn brothers, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu. Their exciting story has been well documented in books, movies, and TV. Liu Bei and his team just started out as regular dudes. Legend has it that Liu Bei was working one day selling mats, sandals, and straw when he looked up to see a poster calling for the brave men in the kingdom to rise up. Liu Bei didn't plan on doing anything until Zhang Fei, a butcher working nearby, called him out for just sitting on his ass. So Liu Bei took action, swearing an oath of eternal brotherhood with Zhang Fei and Guan Yu to save the Han Dynasty. In a peach orchard, I like to imagine that looked somewhat like this. Later, Liu Bei sought out the clever and talented Zhuge Liang. With Zhuge Liang as the key battle strategist, this team fought and won countless gruesome battles. Not only did they achieve their goal and resurrect a kingdom, but their legacy lives on today through this magnificent temple. Built in 223 AD, this place has inspired countless figures in Chinese history, including the great poet Du Fu. It's said that upon visiting the shrine, Du Fu was moved to tears. But this place has definitely changed since Du Fu visited 1300 years ago, especially Jin Li. When you visit Wuho Shrine, make sure to take a stroll on Jin Li Old Street right next door. Back then, it was known as the First Street of the Shu. Today, it's reputed as one of Chengdu's most famous snack streets. Like a lot of places in Chengdu, Wuho Shrine wows you with its lush and colorful gardens. But what sets this place apart is the history of it. Walking across the hall of statues of figures that helped build the Shu Kingdom, and thinking about the people who stepped here before me, my heart is just filled with wonder. For more videos breaking down the city of Chengdu and all of its beautiful attractions, make sure to check out my Chengdu playlist. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure. In a peach orchard, I like to imagine that looked somewhat like this. After two steps. Oh shit. <laughs>